Hello everybody, Resident Inferno here. Welcome back to some more lifeless planet. Picking up right where we left off, we just got the robot arm from over there, where there was a document talking about these things. I'm guessing that green thing in there, because I don't know what the fuck that is. I'm gonna go take a look at it. See if I can get in here. Can I get in here? This structure appears to draw power from that green rock. Come across what appears to be a power station of some sort. An array of Tesla coils surrounds a mysterious monolithic statue or structure. The entire apparatus seems to draw its power from a glowing green rock inside the monolith, which levitates and pulses with energy. That is very strange. I can't seem to go in to get that, but that's fine. Uh. Button. There's a button. That is the slowest elevator ever. Come on. Fuck. I know you're rusty, old, and broken, but fuck you. You need to work better. Sure, I'll take this. Why the fuck not, I guess? <laughs> that was a weird black buster explosion, and the fucking bomb is still here. I'm confused. But okay, sure. Why not? Guess 
Guess I'm going across this. Four. There's something odd about that storm. Okay, there's something odd about the storm. What does that mean for us? Obviously nothing good. What the hell is that? That's not just me. You guys see that, right? Maybe this is the structure those other guys were talking about? Meant for very tall beings? Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> see that. The hell is all this root looking stuff coming up out of the ground? But hey, there's footprints here and they're not glowing. Oh, good lord. I hope you didn't do that, lady. World? Hey, get away from him. No, I think she was going to try and help, but it's too late now. He's dead. Why the hell is there horror music playing? Crew confirmed dead. Both my crewmates are now confirmed dead. It seems this planet is not lifeless after all. A deadly life form lingers below the surface of the planet. The woman seems to avoid their trap somehow. I will try to use this to my advantage, following her tracks as best as possible. Alright then, well, that sucks. Okay. Don't get close to the weird twitchy plants. Got it. Oof. I'm 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 really tempted to see what happens if I touch them. Fuck it, I'm doing it. I want to see what happens. Wow. Okay, I just get impaled. That's what happens. I just immediately get impaled. Sure, why not? I'll allow it. So, uh, let's not do that again. And, uh, let's follow these green tracks here. Something over on that rock over there. Whatever the hell kind of rocks these are, I don't know. Oh, basalt. That makes sense. Located a vast field of columnar basalt. These natural formations appear similar to those on Earth, but at a far grander scale than any terrestrial occurrences I'm aware of. I have to assume they formed in a similar fashion to basalt columns on my home planet via the slow cooling of huge lava flows. As the hot substance cools into new rock, it contracts and it deep cracks into the surface geometric. 
different patterns. Once these cracks go deep enough, they result in towering columns of rock. Yeah. So there is a lot of weird fucking lava flow on this planet. Lava, lava magma flow, stuff like that. On this planet. It doesn't make any sense. Or at least not to our standards comparison. Her feet seem to cause a biological reaction with the soil. These tracks are my guide, a delicate female footprint offering me subtle com comfort as I press on into the unknown. Strangely, it's not always effective. I seem to lose the tracks in rocky areas, of which there are plenty. In the right light, though, I can see where they pick up again to continue my journey. An analysis of the, of the soil and the point of contact suggests that there is something in organic reacting to the person or the thing, whatever she is, making the tracks. The, the faded glow is haunting, unsettling marks on the earth that make me recall nuclear propaganda films. I'm trying not to worry about my about the idea that with every step my body is being irradiated beyond repair. Yeah. I'm hoping that's not the case. Taking a sample from one of the root species. My field observation tools are not of much use, but from what I can tell, these creatures are a carbon based life form. However, the cellular structure is completely unique. There is very little specialization between cells, and yet the cells appear to be far larger and vastly more complex than those of terrestrial animals, including humans. <laughs> Alright, that's weird. Good to know. Am I going nowhere? I might be. I should probably head back real quick just to check. Make sure I'm going the right way because there's another path over here. Yeah, there's another path right here, and I think this is the right way to go. Oh, I probably would have gone all the way around if I had gone that way. In fact, I'm going to go back just to see if there's anything over here. seeing anything. Okay. Where's the time then? Sorry about that. Keep going. Let's see where these uh, salt paths lead. Oh, I fucked up. Well, I fucked up. Well, keep fucking up because I suck. God damn it. Going this way then. I know where this leads. Stop getting stuck on tiny lips. Well, I obviously can't go directly that way, so uh, let me try something else. Is there some path around? I don't see one. This could end poorly. I might die. Can I go around this? Nope, I can't. Fuck me, apparently. I gotta start over. Great. Fucking wonderful. Way and then go 
up that path. Okay, this is feasible, because there's green stuff over here. Um... I still don't know what the hell's going on. I'm very confused. Fuck it, though. Let's just keep going, I guess. stuff here. I'm assuming this is the way I'm supposed to be going. I certainly hope it is, because if it's not, I'm going to be very fucked over. Slightly horror game esque. I don't know if it counts as such, but seems that way. There's another uh, oxygen thing over there, so that's good. Yeah, really? You're only doing that because you fucking want. Because I gotta I find oxygen. Got to the fucking thing. Don't give me that shit. There is no actual timer on this fucking oxygen tank. It's just if I fucking it only there's only a timer on this oxygen tank if I fucking if you fucking say there is, which now there is, god damn it. It has not been eight hours. Fuck off with that shit. And the leak isn't fucking functioning. The leak only happens when it fucking I'm low on oxygen, which is fucking weird. But anyway, I think I'm gonna end this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching, it has been a pleasure. I hope you are enjoying my playthrough of Lifeless Planet. This game is kind of cool. It's really weird and creepy, and I like the way it's set up. It's horror game-esque, but it's not quite a horror game. So, you know, it's weird. I like it. And this would be good, this right here would be good for a fucking, um, thing. Oh, I'm going to take a screenshot. There we go. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.